Okay, Jim Norcross from System 3R back again here at New Jersey Precision Technologies and in this video we're going to uh, show the proper way to affix a System 3R fixture whether it be an edge clamp, a vise, a lobster claw, any fixture to a leveling adapter. Right? These are attached via four bolt holes using four bolts. What you'll notice unique about these bolts is that there's a three millimeter hex where you'd expect it and a three millimeter hex where you would not expect it. Okay, so it takes four. In the interest of time, I'm just going to affix two. Okay? but they also have cup springs. The cup springs are going to, whoops, attach with the cup up. Okay, so I'm gonna get non-necessary, of course I dropped it, non-necessary things out of the way, and then to be able to have full function, I also want to attach two other pieces. This is a dowel pin. Dowel pin is going to act as a pivot point. This is a cam pin. There is a eccentric part of this pin that is, again, eccentric to the barrel. If you'll look at all of these fixtures, there's a round hole and there is an elongated hole. The eccentric on the cam pin goes down into the elongated hole. The leveling attachment goes over and then the dowel pin accesses both. At that point, we lift it up and we attach one, two, through the magic of videography, three and four are in there, you just don't know it. <laughs> and we're going to attach and snug them up. Okay, we have the fixture attached to the leveling adapter, but we have no idea at this point where the fixture is in reference to the X, Y, Z references of, of the, the leveling adapter. So at this point, we're going to mount the entire assembly to a chuck that is mounted to, it is mounted true to a granite presetting station. That is done by use of a drawbar. The drawbar, you'll see it has four splines. It goes in, turns 45 degrees, and then put the plastic locking ring down in place. Locking ring is kind of a misnomer. You'll notice that the drawbar floats in the back. We want the drawbar to float. We do not want the drawbar to have any influence in the repeatability and accuracy of the mating of the, the fixture to the, the chuck. We want the drawbar to do two things. We want the drawbar to draw these accurate references to these accurate references. That's one thing. And the second thing is keep it there. That's what they do. So we're going to mount this on. 
turn this around a little bit. This happens to be a lever chuck, so it's a matter of locking it in place. So now we know that the leveling head is true to the chuck, just for the nature of the way the tooling is designed. Repeatability to within better than two micron, which is 80 millionths, okay? But we still don't know if this fixture is true to those references. So what we can do is we can take a dial indicator. This is a precision ground edge. So we can, I have a jar in a poor position right now, but we can indicate across here and we can make an adjustment. How do we make an adjustment? Using that cam pin and dowel pin. So we have to, oops, that's not it. Treating this, remember the hole that was in the nose? I'm accessing that hole and treating this as a left-hand thread, I'm going to, oops, force a habit. I turned the, the way you'd expect. Turn that a little bit and break it. Then we can access the cam, and as you turn the cam, you can see the fixture. Okay? At that point, you indicate across until it's true, go back and treating it like a left hand thread, which I didn't do again, <laughs> tighten it up. Okay? Then, what we can do is take this off, spin it around, oh, that's right, I better do it from this side. Here we have an issue. And then, this looks more like a wire EDM application now where you're hanging off into, into midair, okay? You can indicate across this way and utilizing this adjustment screw, you Adjust, and that is adjusting in this plane. Then you can indicate across this direction, and now you are adju adjusting that way. And that is how we mount a fixture to a leveling adapter.